everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming at you today with another episode of my best of series that you guys really enjoyed the first time. So I saw, thought what better thing to do from nude lips to go all the way to bold lips. So today's episode is gonna be the best of bold lips. I have a variety of price points, a variety of finishes, a variety of colors. Let's do this thing. So the first thing is the one that I'm wearing and the formula is definitely my favorite of them all and it's also the cheapest. It is the Velvet Matte Lipstick from Silk Naturals in the shade Mulberry. Now I first got this shade because this isn't really very a me shade. It's basically a hot pink with like a cake of berry in there to make it not so like, like fluorescent, but it is just amazing. You guys know I spoke about 90s in my nude lip video if you guys saw that. If not, I will link it down below. This formulation is so good, so comfortable, wears evenly. You basically cannot ask more out of a lipstick, especially a lipstick that only runs you, what, five bucks? Seriously, they're $4.99. So that is Silk Naturals lipstick in the shade Mulberry. And what I also love about it is right upon application, you get this opaque coverage that you see on my mouth right now that lasts forever. And then next up, you guys have also seen this one. This is from Axiology. I'll never get over that packaging. This is in the shade Elusive. Now I think actually if you want a bold lipstick shade in general, Axiology is one of the best lines to try. They're again, very pigmented. They have a more creamy formula, not quite as matte as the Silk Naturals, but they do have Fabulous wear time. I think this color looks good on everyone too. I love the orangey type of shades. I just think are so much more flattering than people give them credit to be. They scare a lot of people, but if you're scared of orange, this one has a nice brownie tinge to it. But again, these two are probably just the most full on pigment from the get. They are just gorgeous. And Axiology is a company I really believe in. If you wanna know more about the company, I did an entire feature and rave about Axiology lipsticks, which I will of course link down below. Then another product I did a feature and rave on is the Elite Cosmetics lipstick. And this one I haven't worn that much. This one is kind of an interesting formula. This is in the shade Tantric. And I think the Elite lipstick, they all kind of come in different finishes. They don't state what they are. But this one is almost, is pigmented, but it's almost more sheer. So this one you can kind of wear more subtle and then really build it up. You'll see it as I'm trying to apply it in the swatch. That it does take some building up. But this shade is just amazing, especially for the fall and winter time. I know that time's coming to a close, but I think if you wear it a little bit more lightly, it would just be the most insanely gorgeous spring summer color and I love to wear all these colors with the antonym blush and rose and a good neutral eye like the one I am wearing right now product details down below as well and then this one I think was just a huge crowd pleaser I swatched this already on my mouth in my red apple lipstick winter 2015 collection and it is nothing other than the shade after hours this is just very out of the box these type of purples are actually really hard to come by in green beauty, especially ones that are free of dyes, free of carmine, free of anything like that. So this is just gorgeous, richly pigmented. You guys know I am just obsessed with red apple lipstick. They're some of the cleanest products on the market, but this is just a very, it's just a very true purple, but it's very rich and very deep. It doesn't go too much in one direction. It's not too pink. It's just a good neutral, deep, true purple. So I think that again is perfect for if you have a very subtle eye look, you throw that on, it completely takes the look to the next level. Even if you're just wearing mascara, I think a bold lip can just put you together more than anything else. I really do. And then finally, I have another super budget friendly lipstick and one that I wear all the time actually, which is surprising given how deep the color is. And this is the Breezia Cosmetics lipstick, part of her new Titanic collection, which you guys should check out if you haven't already. And this is in the shade Real Party. And the second I saw this color, I just knew I had to have it. I really do love brown lipsticks. I have Axiology Bad, which is just a straight up brown. But if that kind of freaks you out, Breezia's Real Party has that kind of kick of red to it that kind of grounds it make it makes it look like a more wearable bold lip you know what i'm saying so i've actually worn that to work and i work retail and i get a ton of compliments 
on that lipstick shade across the board. So you guys, that's it. I wanted to keep this really short and sweet, just talk about the finish shades, talk about why I like them, show you the colors and swatches while I'm putting them on. My nude lipstick one was really long. I don't know why it was so much longer than this, but this is the time frame I wanna keep it around. So quickly before I go, I wanted to show you guys all swatched on my hand, just so you can kind of see them together. You can see we have a very wide variety of shades here, starting from Silk Naturals Mulberry, going down to Axiology, what is it? Axiology Elusive, I was gonna say Endure. Nope, that's a Breeze of Shadow. Then we have E Late Cosmetics Tantric. We have Red Apple Lipstick After Hours, and then we have Real Party from Breezia. Oh, I just love me a bold lip. You guys know I rock them quite often on my channel. I think they read really well on camera as well. And like I said, they instantly make your look. And like I said, they instantly make your look put together. Sorry, I was checking my tooth out to see if we have some issues here. That's the one thing about bold lips. So my biggest tip for bold lips, by the way, that I wanted to mention is that apply with a lip brush. First go in with the bullet and then shape your lip line because realistically how different and how deep these colors are, I'm either A, not gonna be able to find a lip liner that matches or B, I'm just not going to buy that many lip liners for you know, a color that, I have so many lipsticks, like I can't justify getting a lip liner for all of them. So lip brush is your friend. You could either get a shape like this if you would like, it's more pointed. It kind of works well for my lip shape, but a square brush shape is amazing as well. If you have a pinpoint concealer brush, you could just use that. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know you guys love this series, so let me know what you would like to see next in the comments down below. I know you guys want to see foundation. Have that written down. Don't worry about it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I adore each and every one of you, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!